Henry spent the 1990s making a buck however he could. He was frequently arrested for drunk driving and made repeated attempts at rehab. In 1999, he finally beat his addictions. The one-time good fella now lives somewhere on the West Coast and has launched his own website filled with dark humor about the mafia. Henry still loves cooking and is writing a cookbook incorporating many of his mother's Sicilian recipes. He's even hired a manager in Los Angeles. Henry has a lot going on. Uh, he's, he's kind of becoming a, a small empire. He has a, a one-hour series that he's developing, which is a continuation of his story where the film Goodfellas left off. Henry's girlfriend of 14 years, Kelly, has also kicked her drug habit and hopes that someday she and her former wise guy will get married. You really can't help but love the man. He's, you know, he's just, he's like a little kid. I would stay with Henry no matter what. Henry and Karen have never divorced and are still close friends. I think they're destined to be in each other's lives for the rest of their life not just because they share two children, I think because they share a destiny. They have this terrific love-hate relationship. I was a shitty husband. I wasn't around a lot of the time. I have a lot of regrets, you know, and, uh, but there's, you know, there's not, not much I can do about them except, you know, to go forward and to uh, do the right thing today. These days, Hill doesn't spend too much time thinking about mafia retribution. Even Jimmy Burke is gone, having died in prison of stomach cancer in 1996. There's nobody that really cares to kill Henry Hill. I mean, if somebody wanted to kill him, it would be done. Henry has come to terms with his decision to break the honor code of the streets. I've been used by... Uh by the mob, I've been used by the government, I've been used by Hollywood. I'm all right with that today. I mean, I, I've used them too, so, you know, I got a new life. I, you know, I'm alive today. I can't explain why I like him. I, I enjoy talking to him. I get a kick out of him. He's funny. There's part of him that was cunning and is looking to take advantage of you, but at the same time, he's a warm and charming person, and, uh, and that's genuine. Henry will never change, and the one thing you must always remember when you sit with Henry or deal with Henry is he is what is portrayed in the movie. A good fella who's there thinking in the back of his mind what's good for him, not necessarily what's good for you.